In this video lesson, let us understand about the chemical property of phenol and very important property being the formation of salicylaldehyde from phenol by the process of reamer tiemann reaction. So, in detail, let us understand about reamer tiemann reaction. From reamer tiemann reaction, we will be able to obtain two products of phenol. One is salicylaldehyde, one more is salicylic acid. Now, in this video lesson, I am going to cover about the method of obtaining salicylaldehyde from phenol. Phenol first needs to be converted into its sodium salt, that means sodium phenate, by treating it with sodium hydroxide. Thus obtained sodium phenate is further treated with solution of chloroform and NaOH. So let us see how the reaction proceeds. So I am writing the structure of phenol. First is subjected to treatment with sodium hydroxide. This is acidic in nature phenol and this is basic. So obviously they will undergo the process of neutralization resulting in the formation of salt and water. So the salt form is O N A attached here. H from here will react with O H of N A O H and comes out as water. So thus we landed up in the formation of sodium phenate. This sodium phenate is further treated with, that means this is our starting material now. Sodium phenate is treated with a solution of sodium hydroxide and chloroform at about 60 degrees Celsius. So now let us see how the reaction proceeds. Initially chloroform having a molecular formula CH. Cl3 will come in contact with sodium phenate. So now they try to take an attachment in this place. So now one hydrogen which is present here in the benzene ring will come out and that coming out hydrogen will react with one chlorine from here and comes out as HCl. So I will write it as minus HCl. What is that we are left out with? CH and Cl2 because one chlorine has come down here. Therefore, I will attach CHCl2 to the benzene ring. So, sodium phenate structure to be maintained intact because absolutely no change is happening in this part. Change is happening in this part. CH, Cl2, I will split it and write it like this. Now what happens? They come in contact with sodium hydroxide present in the solution. So now what happens? This 2Cl which is there will now react with 2Na comes out as 2NaCl. Two molecules of sodium chloride goes out. Now in the place of Cl, 2OH which is present along with 2NaOH will take an attachment in their places. Now the structure will be looking like this. As, as, as I have already told you, there is no change happening with the sodium phenate part in this portion. So change is happening here. CH is linked with 2OH. Now what happens? They will lose a molecule of water like this. Now this CH and O will take an attachment. Means this oxygen will get attached with this carbon by means of double covalent bond. So minus H2O that means this molecule of water is getting removed. So what else 
is that we are going to land up in O N A remains intact. Now this it is C H O. Now we need to replace this sodium also. So to do that, finally the solution is acidified with H C L. This is called this compound is called sodium salt of salicylaldehyde. The name of this compound is sodium salicylate. We can also call this as sodium salicylate. I'll write the name. Sodium salicylate is acidified with HCl. Now what happens? Na of sodium phenate will react with Cl of HCl comes out as NaCl and in the place of NaH takes the attachment. So let me just write the structure. Now the chain has taken place in the Na part and has become OH and CHO is there earlier. This compound is salicylaldehyde. So, thus we landed up in the formation of salicylaldehyde starting from phenol. I just go through quick repetition. This is the rimer tiemann reaction or rimer tiemann method of obtaining salicylaldehyde from phenol. Phenol is first converted into sodium phenate by treating phenol with sodium hydroxide. So because this is acidic in nature, this is base, a strong base, they will undergo neutralization process forming salt and water. The formed salt is called sodium phenate. Sodium phenate is treated with a solution of sodium hydroxide and chloroform at about 60 degrees Celsius. So initially chloroform having molecular formula CHCl3 will participate in the reaction taking an attachment here hydrogen from here will react with 1Cl comes out as HCl. Therefore we land up in the formation of an unstable compound like this. Now this compound containing 2Cl along with CH will come in contact now with NaOH. Now they go out as two molecules of NaCl and the 2OH molecule will take the place of the 2Cl. So now this structure will lose a molecule of water. It's unstable. So it loses a molecule of water as shown. Then we will end up in the formation of sodium salicylate salt. After acidification of the sodium salicylate salt with, sulf with hydrochloric acid, we will obtain salicylaldehyde by the loss of a molecule of NaCl.